When you have to determine the number of possible outcomes, you're going to use either permutations, combinations, or the basic counting principle. For the outfit problem, where you have 11 pants, 8 shirts, and 4 hats, this is a good time to use the basic counting principle. Um, to determine how many outfits there are, uh, an outfit's going to be made up of pants, shirts, and maybe a hat. So, for the pants, we have 11 options. For the shirts, we have 8 options. And for the hat, we have 5 options. The 4 hats that we have, or maybe we don't wear a hat at all. Then the basic counting principle says just multiply all of those together. And that's going to make 440 outfits. When we have two dice that are being rolled, again we can use the basic counting principle, uh, having one blank for each of the two dice. So the first one is the first dice, and the second one would be the second dice. Well, the number of possibilities, or the number of outcomes on that first dice, are the six different faces. And the same thing for the second dice. The basic counting principle tells us to multiply those two together, so there will be 36 possible outcomes. If we're going to find out the number of ways to put things in order, that's when we're going to need to use permutations. So if I have eight trophies to be arranged on a dresser, I'm going to find the number of permutations of all eight trophies taken eight at a time. That's just going to be eight factorial, which is 40,320 different arrangements. If I have 12 people running a race and being placed in first, second, or third place, Again, order matters, so we'll need permutations. And out of the 12 people, only three of them are going to put, be put in place. So we'll find the number of permutations of 12 things taken three at a time. So that's going to be 12 factorial over 12 minus 3, or 9 factorial. And that will be 1,320 different finishing orders. If order does not matter, then it's time to use combinations. So with a committee, uh, nobody is the leader of the committee. There isn't president, vice president, or anything like that. So order doesn't matter, and we'll use combinations. If I want to take six people out of the group of 20, I'll just do 20, choose six. That'll be 20 factorial over 20 minus 6, which is 14 factorial, and 6 factorial. Now you could do this by hand, or you could just use your calculator and get 38,760 different committees. The same thing if I'm going to pick four books from a list of 13 to read over the summer. The order that I check those books out in doesn't really make a difference, so order doesn't matter. We're going to use combinations. Out of the 13 books, we'll choose four of them. That'll be 13 factorial over 9 factorial and 4 factorial. Anyway, the calculator will do all that for us, and we'll come up with 715 different reading lists.